And new tonight, a legal battle over Girl Scout cookies. A Fort Collins man may end up paying hundreds of dollars for $42 worth of Girl Scout cookies. Amanda Costa always investigating and now discovering the man's filed a complaint with the Colorado Attorney General. A grown man up against the Girl Scouts of Colorado. But in court, he'll be facing... The attorney who's acting on behalf of the collection agency, who's acting on behalf of the Girl Scouts. A legal battle over cookies. It's crazy someone's willing to sue me for $42. Tad Osborne served this lawsuit. If he loses... I'm looking at $800 worth of fees that I have to pay for $42 worth of Girl Scout cookies, really? What, how is this possible? I just, it just blows my mind that it's come this far. All from this check he wrote in January of last year, returned and flagged as a closed account. Osborne unaware of the problem until six months later when he received this return check notice. I paid them with a perfectly valid check. Osborne responded, disputing the validity of the claim and reaching out to his bank for backup. The branch supervisor writing, Osborne has never had a closed account with us. And I gave this to the Girl Scouts and they still ignored it because they say, well, it's gone to collections, we're not involved. The Girl Scouts of Colorado unwilling to comment on Osborne's case because of the pending lawsuit. When we asked for their policy on return checks, we were told they attempt to contact customers and resolve the debt before using a collection agency. The Girl Scout management mishandled this for sure. They didn't contact me, they didn't follow their own internal procedures. Osborne fighting back, filing this counterclaim, seeking nearly $700 in attorney and filing fees. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but I can't do anything about it now. It's the, the wheels are in motion and, and the court date's been set. Amanda Cost, 7 News. And a trial date has been set for May 8th in Larimer County, and as of now, Osborne will be representing himself.